Happy Tuesday, September 24th, Hebrews 10, 19 to 25. Therefore, brothers and sisters, since we have boldness to enter the sanctuary through the blood of Jesus, he has inaugurated for us a new and living way through the curtain. That is through his flesh. And since we have a great high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed in pure water, let us hold on to the confession of our hope without wavering since he who promised is faithful and let us consider one another in order to provoke love and good works, not neglecting to gather together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging each other and all the more as you see the day approaching. All right, so... Gathering, this word gathering, this name gathering, it defines us. It gives us definition. The body of Christ is described in the verses above as family. We are brothers and sisters, according to verse 19. Therefore, the reference we see from Jesus that God is Heavenly Father in the prayer, the Lord's Prayer, our Father who art in heaven, uh, it, it simply encourages our relationship with God and our relationship with each other. Uh, we can enter the sanctuary of God boldly as his children. Paul states simply in Ephesians that we are now of the household of faith. We live by faith in God's house. Our adoption has been secured by the sacrifice made by Jesus, who is our high priest. See, I think the simplest statement we can make individually is that I belong to Jesus. Christ's redemption of me is defining in every area of my life. So when we come together as the body, we are the family of God, and that gives our gathering definition. Whew, we'll keep going tomorrow.